Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to find out what are three top mistakes that single women make that keep them single, you are in luck because that's what you and I will be sharing today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of Get the Look You Crave. Super excited today because I'm going to be sharing with you three top mistakes that single women make that keep them single. These are not the most common mistakes that you'll hear in most videos or that you'll read an article, so you may want to take some notes. Okay, the first mistake is you see how some women, a lot of women who want to create their soulmate connection, have a long list of items and ideas and virtues that they want to create and uh, they want to experience in someone. So you come up with a list of he has to be tall, handsome, smart, healthy. Uh, sensitive, passionate, masculine, whatever it is. That's very cool to create, but most women fail in creating a separate list, which is who must I become to attract this kind of man? Because in that truth, in that second list, you'll see the gap basically between the reciprocal energy of a masculine, amazing, awesome man and what you may be bringing to the table today. So if what you want to create in terms of connection with someone is something that you're not quite there yet in terms of energy or aliveness or passion or excitement or sensuality or feminine energy, then work on your list first before the other one materializes itself. Second mistake that I see a lot of women making is playing this game called This Is That. This Is That is a game that when a guy steps into your life and he makes a mistake, instead of evaluating the situation and saying, you know what, this guy is unique and this situation is unique, hmm, saying this is just like that other guy or he's just like all men. You generalize a specific situation and instead of being present and acknowledging that this may be a one-off or that this may have completely nothing to do with this idea you have in your head, you, in, in an attempt to have security, you extrapolate that, you put it two and two together, and you may make something that has nothing to do with reality, a reality just by thinking about it. So uh, getting out of this means being completely present and not making judgments based on one thing that a guy does, especially if you're saying, he's just like this other guy, or he's just like all men that I've known in my life. Just keep it in perspective. The third mistake that I see a lot of women making is a different game. This game is called I want the best of both worlds. And here's what I mean by that. Some guys want the best of both worlds. They want to be your friend and have sex with you, but they don't want to commit, right? So that's basically a game men play. A game women play is, I want to have my soulmate connection, but I don't want to risk. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to be abandoned by someone. So here's a situation, I'll tell you the truth right now, that it's not fun, but it's the truth. If you want to find your soulmate, you have to be willing to risk falling off the cliff. Falling off the cliff means you give your heart to someone and he completely disregards it. Or he opens up and then he abandons you. You have to be willing to face that. Now, if you do it in a smart way and if you do it with intuition and if you do it with congruency, you can significantly minimize the risk, but you cannot, I'm repeating here, underlining it, you cannot eliminate this risk. It doesn't exist, it's BS. So if you want to create some connection, you have to be willing to pay the price, which is risking. Now, in that risk that you're taking, you're basically having the ability to get everything you want, the love, the connection, the sex, the amazing energy, the everything you want is in taking that risk. So minimize the risk by doing it smartly, get coaching, read more about this, or watch more videos, but take action in such a way that you minimize the risk, but still be willing to face that risk. Now, if you find that these concepts are interesting and fun and exciting, I'm going to ask you right now to click like on the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below letting me know what is the biggest takeaway you have from this video, and most importantly, if you don't want to miss a video going forward, and you want to get the best three-part video series that I've ever created, you can actually, and for free, you can sign up to my list um, by putting your email address. There's a link below that you can click on that you can uh, enter your email address and your name and you'll receive this three-part video series and also never miss an episode. Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you and as always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.